Got a van to put on my wheel. Don't worry, Matthew. Safe pair of heels to follow. Bad news. I've been dropped. It's episode two of the four weeks of fitness challenge where to stay happy and healthy in social isolation, I've set myself a goal of getting fitter and faster on the bike and you are invited too. The target is to improve my time up the epic KOM on Zwift. Now, as you can see, I went pretty deep setting a benchmark. <sighs> but it's now that the work really begins. It's week one of training. My race is over. It's the morning of my first training session for four weeks of fitness. And actually, uh, I'm going for a race. I, I kind of wasn't expecting to. I was thinking I was just going to be doing a, a training session as planned on Tuesday. But I got a call a couple of days ago saying, did I want to join Matthew Vanderpool and his Alpecin Phoenix team plus the seven Zwift pro teams for the Ronda Van Zwift? Uh, it should be Tour of Flanders today, uh, but obviously it's not. And I thought to myself, well, that sounds ridiculously hard, if not nigh on impossible. Uh, so why not, basically? Uh, I do have some team support though. Uh, Connor Dunn uh, is gonna be lining up at the start line with me as well. So uh, I better get in there. Uh, I, can't t I can't tell you how nervous I am. Um, I think mainly just the hope that I can hang in there long enough uh, to call it a training session, as opposed to just um, five minutes of max effort followed by riding around by myself. But uh, anyway, fingers crossed. It's only a short race today, so potentially at Vanderpool speeds, maybe only sort of 45 minutes or so, potentially even less. Uh, so anyway, I don't need to worry too much in the way of fueling the carbohydrates. Water would, would more than suffice, but I'm taking the step to uh, put some uh, electrolytes uh, in, my, uh, in my water, uh, partly to help me rehydrate for the rest of the day, so I'm on top form for playing in the garden, uh, but also actually uh, the kind of flavour, the sweetness, uh, I find really, really helpful when you're starting to flag a little bit, uh, that kind of sweetness in your mouth uh, really helps you dig a bit deeper. Boom, orange flavour. Seriously need to start my warm up now. Okay, it's time. Here we go, on the start line, 15 minutes to go now, just getting the legs working. We're on the, the course for the Richmond World Championships from a few years ago. It's like a classic Zwift course, and actually when you think about it, it's quite similar to the Tour of Flanders. The team uh, liaison officer uh, has been in touch this morning saying that the guys are, are currently watching videos about how to use power-ups um, on Zwift, and I can't help but think that, that they don't need to use power-ups. I mean, it looks like in real life that Vanderpool's got a Zwift power up most of the time. So, <laughs> dread to think what happens when he gets uh, gets a turbo boost. But anyway, right, I'm just going to call Connor now. Hey, yeah, morning, mate. Uh, I'm all right, thanks. Are you ready? Are you in the pen? Yeah, in the pen. I'm on the start line. Let's let's talk tactics, okay? Um, should we just one two Matthew Vanderpool until he cracks? We're going confident. Yeah. And we catch him on the hop. So you soften them up, put okay. in some attacks on the set of that. Yeah. You start putting the digs in. And have you, have you raced Vanderpool in real life as well? Yeah, I have, yeah. How did that go? He, um, he beat me. Oh, did he? Ah, oh, that's weird. Well, yeah, we'll go with team tactics. Hang in on the first lap and then start to really uh, turn the screw on lap two and crack Vanderpool, basically. Okay, good luck. Cheers, buddy. You too, mate. See you in a bit. Yeah, see you in a bit. I love it. Fighting talk. Come on. Come on! Whoop score this morning, 66%. So, that's pretty well recovered for me, I think. There's no pressure on me. I think Connor's the one who volunteered himself to win. We're in the final countdown. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Communication with you could be patchy from now on. I've got to concentrate. Five, I'm gonna crank up the power now. Two, one, here we go. Boom. Okay, it's not super, super hard. 600 watts. I'm holding my position. Spinning along at 55k an hour now. 
the place is settled. Oh, there's Matthew Van der Poel, Sasha Modelo. A lot of Alpha Phoenix guys. But we're coming into the first climb. I'm trying to just keep my position at the front before we get to Libby Hill. But keep surging. Just like a real race. Alright, come on in. Let's have you. Got Van Poel on my wheel. Don't worry, Matthew. Safe, uh, safe pair of heels to follow. Bad news. I've been dropped. Good news. I'll be Matthew Manipal. Lap two. I'm in a good group. We're learning about Pacific Phoenix guys, including Vanderpool. Right, come on. Got to dig in now. It's daylight. Not a good way. Can't reach really The group's gone. My race is over. Half a lap to go. I've just been caught by a group. I'd like to say it's the laughing group, but we're going really fast. Don't drop me, guys. Please don't drop me. It's nice sitting in a group. I won't attack, I promise. Don't listen. The only power up I've got is a burrito, which won't do anything right now. Might as well press it though. Nearly at the top. One last little effort. Still average grade at 1%. Ah, don't sprint me. <laughs> ah well. Fair play. Oh. Well. Thank you, Alperson Phoenix, Canyon and Zwift, for inviting me. That was great fun, but oh, what a kick in. I wonder whether another barometer of improvement over the next four weeks is my ability to race on Zwift. I'm needed now to go and make Sunday morning pancakes. Maybe I should have a little warm down first. Jobs I need to do. Regrease headset top cap to prevent salt water corrosion and double check that I haven't splashed on the living room floor. Monday morning and it's a rester today, thank goodness. Check it out, that's what I'm whooping at this morning. 26%, not ideal. Uh, I did have to go pretty deep yesterday. Um, well, no, let's not be around the bush. I took an absolute kicking yesterday. Power numbers for the 40 minute duration were not bananas, but I had to go so deep early on for 15, 20 minutes or so, it was inevitable that I was gonna get dropped and then ride around by myself. Um, but it's cool, it was great fun, and uh, definitely, definitely something else to focus on over the next few weeks. Um, but today, as I say, a well needed, well earned rest day, I think. Actually, can you say well earned when you've only done one day's training? No, a needed rest day. Yeah, that's right, well needed. Morning, it's uh, Tuesday, a little bit after six. Got up a bit early so I can set my bike up on the trainer before uh, the morning rush starts. And even though no one's gonna go to work anymore and no one's gonna go to school anymore, it still gets pretty hectic. So uh, I thought I'd just take this opportunity and then maybe grab a quick cup of coffee afterwards. Okay, let's go. GCM four week challenge starting in four minutes. Yeah, cutting it a little bit fine. Check it out though, 746 people joining. That is awesome. Basically we've got three 11 minute progressive climbs on here. Now, I've actually made sure that my train is not on erg mode. So I'm gonna be setting the pace, but all my power zones and stuff, my target's gonna be displayed on screen. 420 people on the start line. Wow, this is so cool. Here we go. Boom. Happy workout, everyone. Look at all of the GCN dudes. Yeah. Never trained for so many people before in my life. Start 
start the first interval. As you can see, Grupo Compacto, got to hold 280 watts for six minutes and at 85 RPM. And slight problem, I've just realized in the last minute rush, I've forgotten my water bottle. So I'm gonna have to call for team support in a little bit. Just about to step it up for the last minute of the first interval session, the first block rather. Feeling good though, here we go. I have to make a run for that water bottle, so wish me luck. Well, by not, I'll be impressed with that. Cycle across, remount, yeah, it's equivalent to a bike change. I'm still there, I'm still at the back of the group. Next set, it's gonna hurt a little way. Okay, here we go, and boom. Have I ever been so psyched for a structured training session before? Got my turbo set to near maximum gradient. Here's the arch, I can see it. Here we go. Oh. Wow, just signing out the workout. That was super cool. 500 people joining me for an 8 a.m. ride. Happy with that. Oh, I feel pretty warm now. And I've got four minutes to turn up for uh, our daily catch up with all the GCM presenters and all the filmmakers. I think also there's a tantrum going on out there, so I might make my cool down extend for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, I've got it on mute and also I've blocked my uh, camera so that people don't have to look at me. Sure, no one would know. Oh, I love it. Right, bring on the day. It's Wednesday morning, day off today. Uh, really glad, actually. I'm feeling pretty tired. As well as getting a bit of extra recovery in today, I also want to catch up with our coach, Kevin Poulton, who's the man who's been setting all of our workouts because uh, he's always good for, for some tips. So uh, now two sessions underway, I quite want to get a bit of feedback. So uh, see what he thinks. See if you can see from the data just how much of a kicking I got on Sunday. <laughs> hey, Kevin, good to see you again, mate. Um, right, I'm two two events in, one race, one workout, and I thought it'd be really cool to catch up and maybe try and get a bit of feedback from you just to see uh, see your first impressions. Yeah, it's been really interesting so far, and it really shows the benefit of having structured training mixed in with some racing and some free rides on Swift. So I did pick out a few... Uh, uh, key points from the workouts that you and of, of interest to me your heart rate response to the different intensities and different uh, rpm on from the efforts as well so for example in the race that you did you're obviously going full gas quite deep and your rpm was about 100 rpm and your heart rate was around uh, mid 170s so that's, that's your limit there but then in our structured workout we, we were replicating the demands of a climb we had a set cadence of pedaling of between 70 and 85 RPM, and the power was between zone three and zone four, so quite controlled. But what I noticed was that even though the power was a bit lower, with that high crank torque, your heart rate was very similar to what you achieved in the race. It was quite high as well. So what that shows me is that when we implement, implement this uh, high crank torque training, we're gonna get a good adaptation and a good response, and we should get increased fitness from it. That's really cool, actually. You know, one of the, the key differences for me between those two, the two things, the, the workout and the race, was that the race obviously went so hard from the gun and I went massively into red and then completely blue. So for most of it, I was probably just groveling around. Whereas the structured workout was obviously tailored to my FTP and it meant that 
actually because it kind of the workload built, I felt really good at the end. One thing I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to now is this is this free ride session. So I was wondering whether you could give me uh, a little bit more advice on, on how best to do this. So, so the guidelines you set are uh, 500 meters of elevation gain in a ride on Swift. Now, perhaps if you've got like a favorite route that you could recommend that maybe you could rack up some seriously good climbing? Yeah, well, my thought was to uh, approach it in small chunks. So a climb like Volcano Climb, uh, that's about six to eight minutes in length, uh, in duration, sorry, uh, about 5%. So you could do laps of Volcano up to the top, back down, lap around the bottom, back up the volcano again, and do that multiple times, just like intervals like you would in the real world. Uh, the gradient is, is not too much, but at the same time, we're looking for your, your pedaling here as well. So I'm assuming you're gonna be pedaling at around 80, 85 RPM on a 5% gradient on the volcano climb. We know you race at 100, but we know that when you do uh, our, our test climb at the end, the epic KOM, you're going to be around 80, 85 RPM. So it's important to train for that, as we saw from your workout there as well. Your heart rate responds differently to that crank talk. So we need to train for that as well now. So the idea here is to get a, a big elevation gain in training, looking for about 500 meters. And if we do that in small chunks on the volcano climb, that'd be a nice way to start and see where we're at from there. Cool. All right. Great stuff. Well, thanks, Kevin, uh, for your time again. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you, keep you posted on uh, on how things go. And it'd be great to catch up with you again next week. Awesome. I'm looking forward to the feedback. And let's just tick off one day at a time and then one week at a time and get to the end goal. Nice one. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you. Well, by the time you're watching this, I would have done my second structured workout. And unless for some reason inexplicably that's been an unmitigated disaster then i can safely say i've loved every minute of this week i don't think that's too much of a gamble actually saying that um i hope you have too uh not too late to catch up uh make sure you do that epic kom if you want to get on board with our four weeks of fitness challenge and next week again we've got structured workouts on tuesday and friday i'm doing mine again at 8 a.m uk time but also oscar alan bjorn and yukihiro also doing theirs at different times on the Tuesdays and Fridays if that fits. Uh, I'll be doing my uh, my free ride over the weekend which would be cool, a bit of, uh, bit of chill out time if you could call it that. Uh, and then the race. Now I was asking for, uh, for some tips on what to do. Daniel Pinto suggested the SZR series. That's that Swedish Zwift racing, apparently super competitive. Um, so I'm going to be doing one of those all being well on Wednesday. So that's Wednesday the 15th of April uh, and it's uh, 6 p.m. UK time. So uh, hopefully I won't take quite so much of a kicking this time, but um, well, that might might be wishful thinking, really. Uh, anyway, make sure you uh, keep in touch in the comment section down below. Let us know how you're getting on, and uh, I hope to see you out on the road.